Hello, everyone. I'm here with the amazing Zan Perion. Hello. <laughs> uh, <laughs> about uh, two months ago, I made a video recommending the Alabaster Girl. Uh -huh. um, and now here I am in Bucharest, Romania, with the man himself, the author of the Alabaster Girl. Um, so, uh, a, a day or two ago, Zan was talking about, <laughs> in one of his talks, about the more penetrative nature, the more thrusting nature of men. Mm. And um, I thought bringing those ideas to my channel would be of lots of value and just a really fun thing to talk about. Okay. So, um, I'd, I'd love for you yeah. to share those ideas. Yeah, okay, I will. Um, and it's, I mean, I can talk about it for a long time, but I'll try and condense it and keep it short. Um, in the essence of it is, is that our modern society, our modern generation has lost the concept of what I call thrust. In other words, we don't have thrust in our careers and our relationships and in our interactions with women. We react rather than act. And we don't, um, we forgot the beauty of masculine edge and the, and the beauty of our of our danger and our dark forest and our and our desire to bend the world over which which is a, a beautiful uh, our sexual energy that's a beautiful god-given right it, it's it's our birthright and we had it through all of history and yet modern man is so tepid so afraid so lukewarm <laughs> right yeah. and it's uh, and so it, and then we wonder why women are being mean to us all the time and we're waiting for them to be nice to us for once and we're wondering why uh, women uh, are not fundamentally desiring us. They date us because we're good daters. Uh, they, they might go to bed with us because we know how to massage a little bit. But we don't, they don't desire our, our, our animalistic, beautiful, charming, sexual edge. It's what we're missing. And so this is why I do what I do and what I've been doing what I do for a long time. And it's been, my, it's been my needing to learn this too, Luke and you guys. I, because I, I'm from Canada and from the north of Canada, and I had no idea of, of my own sexual nature. And I'm highly sexually charged. This is my whole spirit. I love women. I love the form of women. I believe that, there, you know, the, that the curve of women is proof that there's a God. <laughs> you know, it has to be. And so I, and I love it so much. And yet I've always, as a Canadian, as a Western society guy, dialed down my, my sexual nature, my, um, and, and you know, hi we're hiding it under a bushel. And this is why women all over the world are saying, where are the real men? And then when men are, men are saying, well, how come the girls are being mean to us all the time? And we're top heavy, we flinch, we, you know, we, 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 we talk to a girl and, and uh, we say, well, it was, nice. it was nice talking to you, would you like to get coffee sometime? And, and she says, oh, I'm sorry, you're so sweet, but I have a boyfriend. And what do we do? We flinch and we say, well, I, I didn't, I, I, I'm sorry, I didn't, mean, I didn't mean anything by it. I didn't mean to offend you. In other words, we apologize because she has a boyfriend. The girl we just met, we're apologetic. I didn't mean to ask you out. I didn't mean to, I thought we'd just hang out sometime. A phrase that should die, hang out. So, um, yeah, I don't know, Luke, if I'm saying it, I'm trying to condense things here because it's a, it's a huge topic. It's endemic. It is, it is the plight of our modern society, of our Western culture, for sure. We, 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 we have no longer have the sense of thrust and the desire to penetrate, as you said. Yeah, I, I completely agree. Um, looking back over the last couple of years of my life, I really felt connected to that thrust and penetrative nature of my masculinity back in like 2011, 2012, when I was making a bunch of it was like prank videos and, and like picking up girls' videos. Yeah. I was asserting myself into the world. I was, I had this very assertive, dominant nature about me, and girls are really attracted to that. But um, looking back, it was actually coming from this insecure place, the place of me wanting to prove myself mm -hmm. to the world. Mm -hmm. And um, I actually see this in lots of guys who are like, they're trying to be cool, they're trying to be like the bad boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But girls start dating these guys, and they're initially attracted to these guys, and then they later learn that this penetrative nature is actually coming from this place yeah. of overcompensation. Yeah. So uh, I think this whole concept is going to be really good for my channel because over the last one or two years, I actually feel kind of disconnected from this penetrative nature. So I'm really uh, glad you're talking about this. It's more of an, I've almost been in like this contraction, this like sharing lots of my thoughts on YouTube. Uh -huh. I've been contracting and finding my core. And now I feel like I'm expanding back into that assertive penetrative yeah. nature. 
Well, because it's um, and, and I see you, you talk about this in a way I could sell tell you you like got it compacted now you're like ex, in this yeah. expansion place where it's coming from this almost like pure penetrative of nature where it's not overcoming it's just pure who you are yeah uh, it, of course you know and, and I hid my, my 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 sexual nature for years because I was afraid of the of, of the, you know the power or, or the force of it and there is a difference between power and force you know power is is strong and immovable and force just breaks things you know and and so if we all have that if we have that penetrative sexual nature and it isn't balanced with charm and empathy and humor then it's a force that just breaks things and 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 that's you said you know that's that that's that bad the bad boy energy and the way i've always said it and maybe it's it's useful for you guys who are, who are listening to this is that is, is as men we have a center of gravity here which we can say is our heart center i guess you could say and we have an energy that flows up into the world as men, which is our energy that goes upward and outward into the world. And it's a, it's an, it's a beautiful masculine energy of charm, empathy, humor. It's you uh, taking a girl's coat and hanging it up for her. It's you, hey, can, can I get you more wine? And, and, and everything about that energy is, you know, it's Toastmasters. We try and learn that. We try and learn storytelling. We try and learn uh, humor. And it's a beautiful, charming, respectful upper energy. And it's a good thing for men to learn and to, to, to start to put this energy into the world. The problem with our modern uh, education and all the dating programs and all these, not all of them, but a lot of the, the dating programs out there is it concentrates on only these things. So you become a great, nice guy. You become a nice guy. And the, so and the way I look at it is from the same center of energy here, from your heart, we have an equal energy that's a balancing energy which is a necessary and it's a hidden energy that nobody shows the world anymore which is your downward it's an energy that goes down and out into the world it's like a th it's a downward thrust that we're talking about and it's in it's a balanced energy with the charm and the um, humor and the empathy but it is our desire to it's our dark forest it's our danger it's our it's our desire to destroy which is a beautiful 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 energy that we hide and we're always top heavy upper energy it's like a tree that has all this beautiful foliage but we have no roots and when we ask a girl out she says well i have a boyfriend oh i'm sorry and we f we flinch we fall over because we're top heavy and we learn all this top heavy stuff so what i've been trying to in instill in you know for the ars amrata guys and the amrati and guys take our program and stuff like that is that 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 balancing deep force that's like a bass that flows out on the floor like a heavy thumping bass should be as equal a force uh, or, or as equal an energy as your upper charm and empathy and then you're a balanced man then you've got that dark energy of the bad guy but you've also got the the, the greatness uh, of the upper energy of the of the good of the nice guy and then you're a balanced force of nature beautiful let's just say you know we have a youtube viewer watching this and they're they're like wow i, I really need to develop that yeah what would you say to that to that person Oh, whew. to to fully develop this more dangerous, well, start, mischievous kind of yeah. Nature. Mischief is a great word. Mischief is a great word that that will maybe guys will land better because if we say be more sexual, they're gonna you know, go, hey baby, you know, <laughs> and, and we don't mean that at all. We mean like stop hiding your desires. That's the number one thing. If you like a girl, that that's a desire. That's a beautiful thing, and it's like well, we don't want to be needy. We don't want to be showing up as like oh. Uh, I, she's, I don't want to tell the girl she's beautiful because she's heard it all the time but it comes from a different place it comes from your center of gravity it says you know what I'm, I can say you're beautiful because that's who I am because I like beautiful things and I can put that energy out into the world I'm not asking for anything in return I just speak my truth so a compliment from a, from a guy who's needy is, or a guy who's buying drinks or, or telling a girl who's, she's beautiful is he hopes that she will like him more than all the other guys but from a guy who, who has that center of gravity and this, and this balanced energy, he can say to a girl, you know, you are absolutely beautiful and I just want to say that and leave it land without asking or, or hinting or hoping for something in return. And you might have great desire, I, I want you because there's something about you, but there's no need in it. There's no neediness in it, so. I don't know. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you very much, Zan. Absolutely. Perfect. Um, if you want to find more Zan Perion online, what's the best place to um, find you? Zanperion.com, Z-A-N-P-E-R-R-I-O-N.com, Arzamorana.com, it's almost ready to go. And um, yeah, you can find me, I'm pretty available online. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, and buy my book, buy my book, The Alabaster Girl. I'll uh, put links in the description to everything. <laughs>
and, and let me know how you like the book. I would love to know the, the feedback and, and um, what you guys think about it. And, and uh, it took me 10 years to write Birthday to Birthday, and it's everything that I've ever tried to describe is in there, so. Um, amazing book, yeah. That's, I'd say it's like one of my yeah. top three books. And come to okay. Bucharest, you'll love it. It's amazing here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, everyone. All right, Take buddy. Care. <laughs> the Alabaster Girl by Zan Prayan has been the best content on seduction that I've ever read in my entire life. I would say that this book is a must read for you guys. Highly recommend it.